So in this video, we're gonna create this card reveal animation. This is also a Callaway style animation, and we're gonna use the cards that we already created in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video yet, check out the video now, and it will show you how to create these cards from scratch. And we're also gonna use the same background. Before we start with the animation, we need to export these cards as PNG files, because they'll be easier to handle and easier to work with. Before we start, we just need one frame of each card. So I'm gonna use the arrows on my keyboard and go for one frame. And then I'm gonna position the card. There we go. Put an out point there on one frame. And then we're gonna go to the deliver page. And in the deliver page, under format, you can choose PNG and then export alpha. Don't export anything else. Add this to render queue. And now DaVinci Resolve will render the PNG. So do this for all eight cards. When you're done exporting all eight of the PNG files, go to uh, effects and add another fusion composition on top of the background. I'll drag it out a little bit. Then I'm just gonna disable the background for now and I'm gonna go into fusion. So opening the fusion page. Now find all those PNG files. You can click on the first one, hold and shift, click on the last one and it will automatically select all of them. And then you can just drag them in here and it will automatically add like a merge node to each one but we would, we don't want to use this merge select all the merge nodes and use backspace to delete them i'm going to rename each card quickly so card one card two card three and the last one is card eight there we go add a 3d image plane and connect it to each card right so we're going to do this and then the next one I'll do that for all the cards i'm just going to space it out a little bit we've added 3d transform connect that to each image plane 3d image plane connect that open your select tool and search for merge and select the 3d merge connect that and connect all the transform 3ds to the merge 3d now when you zoom into the merge 3d you'll see these two little dots if you click the one on the left it will show the viewer in the left we want to move each card back so that it creates a row at the back on card one selecting the transform 3d node under translate on the z-axis I'm gonna move this card back minus 0.1 and then for the next one I'm gonna move this back minus 0.2 so every card will move back one space so just connect that one and then minus 0.3 minus 0.4 minus 0.5 minus 0.6 minus 0.7 until the last card appears select the render 3d node connect it to the media out and connect the merge 3d to the render 3D. To animate this, drag in a 3D camera and connect it to the merge 3D node. So if you select this blue arrow on the camera and pull it back, so we see the cards in full view. Selecting the camera on frame 60, we're going to add keyframes on translation and on the Y axis of rotation. And under pivot, click on the use target button. This automatically plays the target on the cards. You can also activate keyframes there, but I don't think we're going to use them. I'm just activating them for in case and then on a translation using the y-axis we are just going to pull the camera to the side and position it so that we can see the nice card review do that and let's go forward a little bit using the y-axis on rotation and that looks pretty pretty decent go back to frame zero put the x-axis back to zero and the y-axis back to zero smooth these animations out open the spline window select all the camera keyframes zoom to fit select everything press s on your keyboard holding alt and select the last part and drag them out okay selecting the transform 3d node that's connected to card one and with the play head on frame 60 put a keyframe under translation and rotation probably i'll just put keyframes on everything move forward a couple of frames maybe to frame 100 and then we'll pull this one up either the y-axis just above the card deck and then we'll rotate this y-axis so the card faces forward and then on frame 100 tilt the y-axis up on the camera 
as well as the y-axis on the target otherwise the camera will stay tilted down open the spline window again move them out as well uh, select all the keyframes edge on your keyboard holding alt and then drag the last parts out as well so control and space or command and space if you have a mac search for camera shake but the one without the cshk in brackets as soon as this card reviews we're gonna add a keyframe on the motion scale and the speed scale and then we're gonna put this all the way down to zero you'll see the card is bigger now and to make the card smaller under blanking and handling uh, pull the zoom to crop all the way down and then on frame 100 that's where the card comes out I'm just gonna pull the motion scale and the speed scale up a little bit so as the card comes out okay so when your animation is done it should look like this That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.